Podcast Brain, podcast riset dan inovasi, eksplorasi sains tanpa batas. Welcome to the podcast of Indonesian National Research and Innovation Agency, or BRIN. And currently, we are going to discuss the topic series of digital technology and research activity in digital age. For the first episode, we have Professor Dr. Trinuka Pujiasuti, a former Deputy of Social Sciences and Humanities, the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, or LIPI. And she will share her experience and her talk of linking up between digital technology and research activities. Uh, thank you, Prof. Nuka, and for your coming to our podcast, and we are delighted to welcome you in our podcast. And um, how everything's going right, Bu Nuka? Thank you, uh, Bobby. Everything is going right, and I'm really honored uh, to be here. And I think it's a very important uh, podcast uh, for all of us, not only for me. And I remember Prof. Nuka is one of the key person in LIPI who initiated and also promoted digital research in social sciences and humanities research since 2020. And um, perhaps uh, for the beginning, could you share what had motivated you to mm-hmm. introduce a digital research in LIPI at that moment? Mm-hmm. And as we know, digital research uh, was unpopular in Indonesia uh, in, in 2020. Uh, compared to global North countries mm. who have utilized digital technology to support their mm. research uh, since 2012. Yeah, uh, actually it is not a new plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, uh, it's already a part of uh, our plans when uh, around 2016, mm. 16. Uh, but uh, it seemed at the time no one say that Oh, it is not important, mm-hmm. <laughs> not yet important. So uh, at the time, I, re- I really remember that um, uh, our Minister of Research and Science asked me in the consortium how to uh, uh, social sciences give the information to us what's actually happened mm-hmm. in the society. So you can imagine at the time uh, uh, start of the pandemic, mm-hmm. and it's a very difficult to catch up the informations, very difficult to to get uh, the data. So uh, at the time, I thought that oh, we should make a new innovations. Mm-hmm. So uh, we know well that uh, digital method actually is not new. Uh, format, but we never use about that. And okay, we already use, but only a survey, something like a uh, digital. Uh, uh, what's what we call uh, something like uh, interview, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh, only that. I think it's not enough. Mm-hmm. So uh, at that time, you come. Yes. <laughs> you come back from yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, your point. You too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, it is the point. <laughs> so it's uh, one of the accelerating uh, me how to develop digital method, mm-hmm. and then with your help uh, and the team, I think uh, we get uh, we got the, the new uh, method. Mm-hmm. Uh, for us, mm-hmm. actually, it's not new method, but for us, it's new method. That's digital method make uh, uh, the research become uh, faster mm-hmm. and then easier to catch up with the informations, even though it is challenges mm-hmm. because you know uh, many big data there, but uh, we have to focus on that time, but uh, make it easier. Mm-hmm. So. The motivated actually uh, because of the pandemic. pandemic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, I think it's not only in Indonesia. I mean, like like the other country in Asia mm-hmm. also like like try to uh, um, adopt it with that situation, yeah. and they try to transform from the conventional approach mm-hmm. to be more digital. Mm-hmm. And um, if you still remember, what is the most challenging situation? Uh, transforming. from like conventional approach to be more digital 
I mean like in 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 the research area of social sciences and humanities. Uh the most challenges. Yes. The most yes. challenges is the researcher itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine about that. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, uh they never use what uh the digital method and it, it is a new approach, a new method. So the most challenges is not the equipment, not the infrastructure, uh but the people itself. Mm-hmm. Uh how to uh develop themselves uh the capability themselves uh, uh use that uh, method uh but uh lucky us at the time uh you and also uh i i forgot it from the pnb uh ibnu ibnu yeah. uh help us uh to g- give informations mm-hmm. and then like a kick off mm-hmm. like uh, like a kick off meeting and then make uh, everyone oh interested mm-hmm. uh, in that area and then uh we developed a uh, 16 uh workshop yes how to use a digital method not only uh to get the informations but uh how to take uh, data and then how to analyze and how to make uh, the software so it is really complicated and complex uh, uh, method but it's a very good for me it is a, a good point for us that we start a new uh, transnational method mm, yeah. uh, because it's mostly not from Indonesia but also uh, we can use that, that and then transdiscipline not only for the social sciences but also uh, from the uh, exacta so uh, I think it's a very good uh, method mm-hmm. and yeah I would like to state that uh, the conventional method mm-hmm. is still very important mm-hmm. we can't replace it yeah but it will strengthening if we use the digital method yeah like if we like yeah uh, i agree with you uh, uh prof nuka like with uh the main what call it the, the main generator mm-hmm. uh transforming from conventional mm-hmm. um to more digital mm-hmm. is it doesn't mean like we left or we we ignore or, mm-hmm. or we neglect about the the conventional research mm-hmm. but it's like a, a part of it but um If I remember the, the the transformation is not like one night magic or one night job oh, yeah. and then it's like click done <laughs> but but it's like a, a a long and continued process yep and uh and and because Prof Nuka as well uh we continue in 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 Lippi continue the workshop mm-hmm. from the session one in 2020 now in tw- 2021 we have the session two mm-hmm. that's uh, and and more focus on uh, quantitative and qualitative analysis and we enlarge uh, the the knowledge sharing not only how to use the method how to implement the method but also how to manage, manage the data hmm. so researcher in social science and humanities hmm. can start to uh, develop uh, the big data as well mm-hmm. um but but what 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 things or what the elements that should be like provided or or fundamental element that should we have uh, before we undertake the digital Uh, research yeah uh, if you ask about that uh, the first thing is the ethics all right the ethics is a very important mm-hmm. because uh, big data mm-hmm. it is a huge data yes and then no one can claim ah, I see yeah yeah uh, and we know that everybody can use it mm-hmm. so Uh, the ethics of uh, research is very important. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is really challenging because in Indonesia we don't have uh, uh, like a clear and ethics mm. for the digital. But research. I still remember you are one of the the person that um, initiated uh, clearance ethic in social sciences yeah. and humanities, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, uh, but still should. We developed. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Well, everything that start from beginning should be like. <laughs> yeah, it's still improve. a process. Yeah, yeah to yeah. improve it. Yeah, yeah. 
And um, as we know, somehow it's a bit fuzzy for the scholar implementing the idea between researching digital technology mm-hmm. and researching social and humanities issue in digitally matters. Mm-hmm. And how do you find this situation, Bunuka? Mm, it's a good question because uh, these two kinds uh, really uh, actually a bit different from yes, the other. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the one thing is, okay, like in prioritas uh, national uh, prioritas research mm-hmm. yeah national national priority uh, uh, national uh, research priority uh, we can see they only work uh, how actually the attitude the behavior of people in the digital society mm-hmm. they don't they don't use the uh, the digital method mm. all right It will be different if both bring together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, the uh, the the research about uh, digital society and use the digital method. Mm-hmm. I think it will be mastering of this research. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Like yeah. Because, like, if we compare to a global north countries, that's mm-hmm. they are um, five or seven years in advance mm-hmm. compared to global south countries like Indonesia. Um, I mean, like, uh, they 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 already like digital research already well established, Bunuka, mm-hmm. in terms of the theory about the, mm-hmm. the instrument mm-hmm. and uh, the research itself in digital like digital world, mm-hmm. and uh, and I see that um, digital research in global north countries like. Let's say like a United Kingdom and then European mm-hmm. countries mm-hmm. is already like uh, being utilized as an alternative study or a, n- a new perspective or paradigm mm. to refill the current issues or phenomena in a social and a humanities issue mm-hmm. instead of like solely uh, undertake fieldwork studies. Mm. And perhaps there is a less be fun um, a debate like like. Like mm. you you said before that uh, there is debate between which one is better, um, digital research or conventional approach, mm-hmm. for example, like mm-hmm. that. And um, do you see the possibility that Indonesian scholar uh, can like imitate or can like uh, catch up with this situation? I mean, like last uh, life behind seven years compared to the global north countries. Uh, I think s- no doubt. It. <laughs> uh, it is a must. All right. It is a must. We catch up mm-hmm. the international standard. All right. If not, we will still we will always left behind. All right. And you know, Indonesia is one of the big country in the world. Agree about that. And then we have to mm-hmm. try to develop not only in the in the science world mm-hmm. but also in the governments in the society should be a catch up in that standard mm-hmm. so it is a must All right. okay. and we have recognized a uh, prof nuka is one of the one of the researcher in brin or libby brin who have a progressive idea to elevate social and uh, social sciences and humanities research And uh, what do you think that what will happen to research in social sciences and humanities in the next 20 or 30 years? Um, I mean, like comparing to current situation, what will happen in the, ne- in the future? And we see that now we live in digital era. And what will happen with this uh, study? Uh, it's, it's dreaming. <laughs> it's a but dreaming, but I hope it, it will <laughs> will become start from true. dream. <laughs> <laughs> start from dream. Yeah, uh, for the social sciences, uh, I want to try to give a, a big picture. Uh, Indonesia and of course uh, Southeast Asia mm-hmm. is a very good lab laboratorium for the social sciences research. Compare with other places. Yes, another places is very good also, 
but uh, Southeast Asia, especially Indonesia, be, uh, it's a very important because the complexity mm-hmm. of the situations mm-hmm. and social sciences always uh, focus on the complexity. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the theory, the concept, uh, the method should be uh, one or two or s- uh, many, many steps uh, after. Uh, so it should be a uh, yeah, progressive oh. uh, step. Mm-hmm. If not, we will only as an object. Mm, yeah, yeah. Not as a subject. <laughs> so uh, the method, the theory, the concept, and also the capacity of the researcher mm-hmm. should be developed uh, following the international standard. Or another way, another word, it like uh, we should be equal with the global North countries' capacity in of terms course. of uh, yeah. the, the capacity of the the scholar itself, and yeah. then method improvement, the theory, and keep continue like mm-hmm. uh, bringing the uh, a contribution for the academic. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, academic literature. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the last, Buzunuka, what policy should be undertaken uh, to promote a digital research for social sciences and humanities, a particular like like uh, to achieve, like what you said before, like mm-hmm. what will happen in the next twenty or thirty years, and and what what uh, policies that should be like uh, preparing or should be implemented mm-hmm. in the near future. How. <sighs> Even though now you're you're a, a researcher, but uh, <laughs> but you're former, and and I I can I still can see that, yeah, uh, you have an opportunity to like a uh, 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 giving the idea for this. Yeah, uh, one of the most important is uh, changing the policy. Mm-hmm. The policy should be includes uh, the digital uh, research and methods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is uh, a must, uh, and then uh, the every indicator of research, every uh, indi- key performance indicator of research should be changing. Mm-hmm. So it will be uh, accelerate the situations. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can catch up the uh, digital method and digital research. Uh, faster than before. All right. Okay. And do you have any closing statement before we end uh, this episode? In case uh, the other institution, like outside of Lippi or Print, uh, would like to learn from the the success story of Lippi transforming from a conventional approach uh, to the more digital. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bobby. Um, one thing is imp- uh, I would like to say is. Try to open your mind mm-hmm. and then understand the external situations mm-hmm. and then try to cope and become better than external. All right. That's uh, um, the important uh, message from uh, Professor Nuka for uh, scholars in Indonesia. And I think uh, that is the end of our podcast in this episode of uh, Digital Technology and Research Activities. Uh, I hope you enjoy our discussion and see you on the next episode. Bye.